Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your, what do we got? Wednesday. Wednesday. So the first second of the year, or day of the, of the month is screwing me up. Wednesday, market webcast. All right, daily chart. We talked about uh, the ability to make new all-time highs yesterday. They went ahead and did that, took the highs out by about 10 handles. Um, they brought it back in. Well, you know, we're about 30 handles off the highs there, but I mean, the reality is until the, the bears can participate, convert some levels that matter and keep them converted on a multi-day basis, this market will continue to go higher. It will continue to make higher highs. It will continue to make new highs and they will drag um, all these unwilling shorts and bears behind the bus uh, as far as they need to go until the bears do something about it. I'm really starting to feel like they um, they need news. They need some sustainable piece of news that's going to keep this thing down. Otherwise, every dip is just they're coming in and buying it. Whether that's seasonal, whether that's performance, whatever it is, it's the function of the market. It is what it is. So yesterday um, they brought it in a bit. Let's go to the hourly chart. So yesterday they tried to take it in. They couldn't do any better than 50 quarter. They popped it right out of that and then they dragged it up to 36.77 half. We saw, uh, we've seen some give back um, in Globex, uh, 42 half. We're coming back in to test that area right now. So we'll see what 42 half wants to be as we get closer to the open. It's about 7.40 in the morning as I'm taping this. You've got volume weighted average price uh, sitting at about 52 and change. Uh, five minute mid bands at 52. Hourly mid-band 56.20, uh, proprietary moving average 53.75, you get the daily pivot at 54.5. So 52 to 56 is going to be your real buffer zone bull bear. That's the area that the bulls are going to have to get back. Um, and they're going to have to get that back in order to um, be able to... But you, want, you want to see the bulls close it today above the current Globex high at 66. That would be a show of real strength. If you're the Bears, where do you want to close it? Well, it seems like a big ask, but you know, you'd like to take out yesterday's Globex low. That's down at 26. Something tells me though, on a Wednesday, with where we were yesterday, highs and lows, it's kind of cooking up an inside day, which is, I mean, that's no great, you know, extrapolation on my part. Um, all I'm basically saying is the bears aren't good enough to take out 26. Or the bears rather aren't good enough to take out 26. And the bulls are going to have a tough time making new all time highs today. And the thing for traders is going to be what kind of range is that going to take on? Is that going to take on a 10, 12 or 15 handle range where you got enough elbow room to get some trades done? Or is it really going to slip into this, you know, into this grind area and be something more like a four, five, six, seven handle range where, you know, you're gonna have to really pick your spots and just get your day made and, and get to the sideline. So I would be surprised. I mean, setting news aside, if you get news, you get news, but absent news, it, the whole thing sets up, you know, pretty, you know, pretty logically as a uh, as an inside day. All right, that's all I got. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.